Welcome back to day two of Strange Horticulture. So we have our new plants here from day one. We have a will to explore, but we don't have any clues yet to help us. Um, we'll leave our deadly guy over there. So I think we bring in our first customer. Isidore Burbage. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisis. And be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. Oh. We don't know what its actual name is. Oh, let's see. Okay, there's the Latin names are underneath it. Oh, Grandy Root. Uh, the leaves are coarse to the touch. Oh. Plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles. Okay, care must be taken, however, as rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. That looks like it. More so than this, because this has a stamen poking out. Well, let's, let's go with this. Okay. Grandy root. Milk dew. Okay, let's label. Um. Oh, we need your book. Brandy root, and this is. We'll just say. Tummy aches. Uh, Grandy. E. F. G. There we go. Actually, gonna put the watering can over here. Oh. I think I read something about the watering can increases the will to explore. Okay, so we've got that. David Schaefer. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Great. New puzzle. There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp dark tunnels left by the trainways. I thought you might be interested. Okay, so we are going to take a look at this. Or our will to explore. We are looking for... Hard Knot. Um... I think I need to turn this music off. As nice it is, I think there is a copyright strike on my first episode with it. Turn it down way low. Okay, so we are looking for hard knot. Hard knot, okay, right here. They seem to have found a niche in the damp dark tunnels left by the tramways. Hard knot. Does it look like there's any... Maybe it's just straight to hard knot. Left by the tramways, deep dark tunnels. I mean, it looks like it's in the middle of a mountain. Let's try it. Yes, we got it. Okay, an iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the train tu tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. Clarilium. Oh, okay. Um, we do have... I do remember reading about a... flower that is good for locks. This one. Clavilium. Love lock. 
Okay, so we're looking for these maybe? I don't know if I see anything else that has a heart-shaped leaf. Bingo. Cool. Oh, wow. Collect. Aguria. Oh, we got some three new fungi. Let's put our fungi up here. Okay, um, let's label, label our guy here, Pavilion. Unlocks. Okay, this would be at the head of the chain here. Those ones I think are identified. And this is done. Oh, we clear out the letters for the day, it looks like. Okay, we're still looking for our will to explore. Because we don't have any other puzzles. Reuben Ward, I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a sensitive lot, or a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Uh, this is the one I thought was fox button, so let's double check. Okay, excellent. Select Grimlock. We don't have not pet our kitty enough today. Oh, that purr is majestic. Alright, so we're going to change the... Tag color to yellow. And fox. Here. Great. I will to explore, but we don't have any more puzzles, so let's keep going. Victoria's back. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. There's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Oh. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? Harlequin Blue. This is the one I thought was Harlequin Blue. Good to know. Shimmerlung. I definitely don't have that. Okay, so let's relabel this guy. Uh, G, H. Okay. Put a little space in here. Alright, we have a will to explore, but we don't have any... Anything to explore? Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. Okay, so she's part of the coven. May our Duina bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. Mary's breath. Okay. Um, to be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Mary's breath. The wide waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. It is said... A person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's breath. It used to be grown in the royal gardens so that the king could ensure his, the trust of his confidants, but the practice fell out of favor. Okay. We're looking for these. Is it this? Smooth waxy leaves. 
Oh, it does say waxy leaves. We'll go with that. <gasps> that wasn't it. Okay. Oh, wow. That's like a third of our bar. Ugh. It said wide waxy leaves, though. Do I have anything else that has wide waxy leaves? Veined leaves have a waxy finish. Um. Oh, man. That was terrifying. Uh, it is secrecy. LM, okay. Man. That's tough, because they both said waxy finish, so... Mm. Alright, we have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen, and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Orver. Please help. Okay. This looks like it requires our travel. So we are looking for Grisdale Forest... A mile from the lake shore, across from... Okay, so I was looking for a lake shore. Across from Torver. We're gonna look for Torver. Torver. Okay, here's the lake. Grisdale Forest. Grisdale Forest, okay. Deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver, please help. Alright, which square do I pick on? That didn't work. Tell me I'm in the wrong place. As soon as I step off the road, two members of the Sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest. I am not welcome here. I try showing them the sister's letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place. Okay. So I know to get the will to explore to go up faster, we use this watering can. Well, I don't know if this one's actually deadly poisonous. I just know it's dangerous. I remember that's what the note said. Dangerous. Okay. Now let's try again. Let's look at the note and see if there's any other clues. Our secrets have been stolen and the Ardo was murdered. Deep in the Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore. You know what? A mile. Here we go. One square is one mile. A mile from the lake shore. Across from Torver. There we go. Okay. Gotta check your keys on your maps. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door. Along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement, lying on a table draped in silk is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black, her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as raven, raven's wings. Do you know what could do this? asks my escort. I set to work. Ren. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and so can be used to detect them, though it has no flower. 
Uh, maybe it's you? It is said to smell unpleasant to those who have not, have known death and sweet to those who have not. It's scent, it has a scent that scratches the back of my throat. That's a possibility. No flower. This one also doesn't have a flower. That doesn't look like it at all. Okay. Oh, uh, here goes nothing. Excellent. Ooh, apprentice. Achievement unlocked. Gray Sandfire. Okay, let's label this guy before we move out of here. This is Ren. Um, detect poisons. Okay. Collect. Oh, I think we saw this one. Oh, that one looks fun. Take a closer look at this one. The leaves have stiff ribs. Pleasing, oh, pleasing scent. Shimmer lung right here. Large, rigid leaves. Dried stem of the shimmer lung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. I think this is it. Um, but I'm just gonna, what's it called? Shimmer lung? Uh, label it with purple. Uh, okay. Pop this up here. Okay. We finished with that note. Isidore Burbage. This guy again. I'm this close to reporting you, half-wit. The last plant you gave me made my skin itch furiously. I do remember there being, uh caveat on the one I gave him that it said only use a certain part otherwise the leaves will make you itch my actions could have consequences I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right oh no okay you used the wrong part of the plant sir sir oh Butterdale Okay, this has very distinct leaves. Or meek do. We don't see these leaf patterns. Meek do. Okay, this beautiful flowers, the beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets. Okay. I think this might be it. Make this a sought-after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be a pleasant-looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Ugh. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Yes, because the blue one we've already identified. I think this is it. I'm afraid, though, he's going to be set. Meek do. Meek do. Um, this one. I guess it was supposed to. I mean, it's decorative. Mm, let's just say. Results in painful sores. I have. I'm just kind of scared that he's going to be like, just touch the plant and come back and yell at us. Okay, you know, I'll just leave it like that. End of day. That's it. That was fast. Take our card. 
north of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Crinkle Crags. And we got a moon phase is happening. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. I'm assuming this is the Arda talking, or it's about the Arda. I know we're getting into Sunday Day 3, but I want to do the this card. Okay, so we need north of Hawkshead, Lowick, Rustland, and Crinkle Crags, if we can find any of those. Lowick. Here's Lowick. East of Lowick. Okay, but this way somewhere. Now we are looking for south of Crinkle Crags, so I think Crinkle Cla Crags will be north. There's Crinkle Crags. Lowick, but it's going to be east of Lowick. West of Rustland. Okay, Crinkle Crags, Lowick, Rustland. Rustland and Oxhead. Hawkshead here, north of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, so we're looking around here somewhere. Crinkle Crag, it's going to be south of Crinkle Crag, so this would be it here somewhere. We just need Rustland. Rustland. Never eat shredded wheat. So it's going to be one over. East of Lowick. West of Rustland. This is it. Yes. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger, and am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing. They are hidden from view. Those are pretty. Cool. And that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you back for day three.